Welcome to Buoy Pumps of Canada Limited's instructional video series. This video will provide step-by-step -step instructions on how to disassemble Buoy's premium performance rotary gear pump, the Ultra Seal. Before conducting any service work to your buoy pump, it is essential that you wear proper protective equipment and conduct your work in a safe and clean working environment. Disassembling your Ultra Seal pump can be done with a combination of standard tools and a few pump specific tools which are manufactured by buoy. These are available at your nearest authorized buoy dealer. For this project, you will need the following. An imperial socket set, vice clamps, flathead screwdriver, internal snap ring pliers, 8 inch bearing puller, buoy seal removal tool, buoy small plate removal tool, buoy large plate removal tool, hammer and punch tool, one and three quarter inch seal remover, safety glasses, safety gloves, and steel toe boots. Do not proceed to work on an ultra seal pump if you do not have all of the tools listed in this video or if the tools that you do have are not in good working condition. The secret to the Ultra Seal's high performance design is the four bearing and sealing chambers, which are engineered for superior leak resistance. The front and rear of the idler and the rear of the drive shaft are all built with the exact same components. This ensures the disassembly process is identical for each. The front of the drive shaft contains a different series of components. This requires a separate disassembly process. Make sure to put on all safety wear prior to moving the pump into position and prior to commencing any work on the pump. Do not attempt to move the Ultra Seal pump without the assistance of another person and or proper lift equipment. Before beginning work on any portion of the pump, Ensure that the pump is drained by removing the 3 8 inch drain plug from the end plate. Ultra Seal pumps may be used to pump hazardous substances. Ensure that you flush an Ultra Seal pump that has recently been used to pump hazardous substances and only work on an Ultra Seal pump in a well ventilated, secure, and safe place. Let's begin by removing the back plate of the pump. With the center case anchored to a surface, unscrew and remove the idler and dry bronze threaded end plugs. Then using internal snap ring pliers, pull out both idler and drive snap rings. Next, you'll need to remove two 3 8 inch hex bolts from the plate with a socket wrench. Insert two assembly pins, then continue removing the remaining 10 bolts. To take off the plate, screw a buoy small plate removal tool into both the idler and drive chamber. Turn clockwise, alternating at an even rate. As you can see, this will separate the plate from the housing. Once that's done, remove the wear plates from the housing or end plate. You can remove the gaskets and dispose of them, as you will need to replace them with new ones when you put the pump together. Remove the assembly pins. Now, let's return to the back plate. Anchor it down with the vice clamps. There are two internal bearings in each of these chambers. Using the buoy bearing removal tool, Remove the ball bearings. Then with the buoy seal removal tool, remove the seal housing, two Teflon seals from each bearing chamber, and the remaining bearing. These small seal housings are generally resistant to wear and can be reused, unless they appear to be damaged. If any seal housings or any other parts are showing wear, Contact your authorized buoy dealer for advice and direction on whether they are safe for continued use in the pump. Next, remove the outer Viton O-rings and inner Viton lip seals from the seal housings.
The Ultra Seal uses two dowel pins to ensure proper alignment of the backplate to the center housing. When you take it apart, the dowel pins may remain in the center case or backplate. If necessary, remove the dowel pins from the center case and insert into the backplate. Now we are ready to tackle the removal of gears and front plate. To start, remove the 1 16th inch inspection plug from the bottom of the main drive bearing chamber. Unscrew the idler bronze threaded end plug, then remove the snap ring. Next, loosen the three set screws from the front of the drive bearing cap and remove the cap. Unscrew the set screw on the lock ring. Then, using a hammer and punch, loosen and then remove the lock ring. Depending on how it was installed, the lock ring will be loosened by turning either clockwise or counterclockwise. Next, we'll push the idler gear and shaft out of the pump using a small plate removal tool. Insert it into the idler bearing chamber and keep turning until the gear assembly is pushed out the back side of the housing. Now, thread the buoy large plate removal tool into the drive and follow the same steps. Next, you'll need to remove two 3 8 inch hex bolts from the plate with a socket wrench. Insert two assembly pins, then continue removing the remaining 10 bolts. Take off the front plate and set aside. Then remove the wear plates from the housing or end plate and discard the gaskets. Remove the assembly pins from the case. Again, it may be necessary to remove the dowel pins from the center case and place them back into the front plate. And that's it. Time to move on to the front plate. Use the vise clamps to anchor the front plate. Remove the two internal bearings, the seal housing, and two Teflon seals in the idler bearing chamber as shown in the back plate removal. Remove the outer Viton O-rings and inner Viton lip seals. As mentioned earlier, the seal housing can typically be reused. Turning your attention to the main drive bearing chamber, use a rubber mallet and buoy bearing remover, tap the tool to dislodge, and remove the lock bearing. Now, take a buoy seal remover and a rubber mallet and gently tap to dislodge the remaining internal components from the inside of the plate. Remove the snap rings from both ends of the drive seal housing. Then, remove the outer Viton O-rings and internal Teflon seals. Now, all that remains is to remove any components of the silicone carbide mechanical seal from the housing, if remaining, as well as the outer Viton O-rings. Your buoy Ultra Seal is now fully disassembled. Take the time to inspect and clean the parts. You will need to replace the old seals and gaskets with new ones, as these parts are vulnerable to wear. Bowie's Ultra Seal has been designed and built with high quality parts that are resistant to wear to help lower the maintenance cost. When it's time to reassemble the pump, the following components can generally be used again after cleaning and damage inspection. End plates, seal housings, mechanical seal saddle, and bronze threaded end plugs. Additionally, center housing, wear plates, gears, shafts, and other components may be reused after cleaning and damage inspection if wear is within acceptable limits. However, if any parts are showing wear, contact your authorized buoy dealer for advice and direction on whether they are safe for continued use in the pump. And there you have it. Your Ultra Seal has been fully disassembled. 
Thank you for choosing Buoy's Ultra Seal as your go-to high-performance pump. We hope you found this video to be helpful and informative. Because they are built to outlast and outperform, we are confident your Buoy Ultra Seal pump will serve you well for many years to come. Before reassembling your Ultra Seal, we recommend you watch the next video in our series, Reassembling an Ultra Seal Pump.